Hello friends, welcome back. Yeah, we've got a video today and we're actually comparing some records. Black Sabbath. I bought this, this came out in 2011 and I probably bought it around 2012 or so. I bought uh, about five of these Rhino records and I compared them to the records that I had at the time. And I know most of you have watched that video, but here just uh, lately now, uh, about six months ago, I bought this uh, Castle reissue. No, it's a, uh, yeah, a, ca a classic reissue. It's made by Castle Sanctuary. This is a 2001 reissue. It was a remaster. And back in 01, and even in 2011 when Rhino did this, Chris Bellman was the one that remastered this record right here. And uh, just for a little background information for the comparisons of the records, okay, this is the first Black Sabbath record that I compared. And this is a WWA pressing. This is a first edition UK press on the gatefold. And this is a the stamper on this is V06, which is the same number as uh, the Vertigo Swirl. That would be the original pressing. The first one that ever came out, this record came out, it was on a Vertigo Swirl label. V06. And these were made from the same stampers, the WWA were. And it sounds fantastic compared to the, um, the Rhino okay when I compared the Rhino to this one yeah this one was just a lot had a lot more fidelity on it you could tell it was really close the original master tape it had all the fidelity on it had better bass you could really feel the back of the couch where the bass was kicking it was hitting the back of the couch the cymbals were much more shimmer on the cymbals Ozzy's voice it was a lot more distinct, more clear. There was more harmonic structure in it. Just a lot better recording. The WWA pressing. And uh, since I had all of the Rhinos, I compared it. The Rhinos now. Now the Rhinos, what I've come to understand here lately is that when these Rhinos are made in the United States, so what Rhino did was they got the original master tapes from Warner Brother, which are not the original master tapes. Those are in the UK. But, you know, uh, Warner Brothers does have their tapes, which are a copy of the original tape, which most of the times depend on how you master records. They can sound just as good. But this time, they didn't because... When I compared Paranoid, this is the uh, this is the Sanctuary LP on a gatefold, and there's the label. When I compared the Sanctuary, this is a 2001 Castle to the um, the Rhino, it was just like this was a WWA press. This is made in the UK. They're using the UK tapes. And I'm hearing that, that UK first, first edition sound on here. Now, I didn't compare a swirl to this. But, you know, I used to have a German swirl of this record. And it didn't sound as good as the, uh, the green original Green Warner Brother press that I had. So I sold the German Swirl, and I kept the original Green Warner Brother, and then I got this Castle, and uh, then I got the, the other the, the 2011 Warner Brother, and this one was, was so much better. So, and the same for Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. This Sanctuary record was a lot better. This classic reissue, classic uh, Castle reissue, was a lot better than the Warner Brother 
for all the same reasons. And so I figured, well, hey, look, I can pick up this, this volume four now. I can pick this up on the castle and it's going to be better than the the Sabbath volume 4 on the Rhino but going back to when I compared this originally what I had in my collection at the time was a Japanese Vertigo Swirl original Japanese pressing that's got to be the ultimate right the Japanese Vertigo Swirl well guess what this one was better it really was I really hated the fact that it was because I love that Vertigo Swirl Japanese record. It was so nice. Big thick cover and the book on the inside, everything was great. It was, it was minty. And now it didn't have the OB but had everything else. But this one sounded better. So now I've got this coming up. And now which one sounds better? Yeah, this one still sounds better even than the Sanctuary. It's just got better bass on it. Ozzy's voice is more holographic. This this castle here is is brighter, brighter sounding, and the sound is more uh, dispersive. It's just spread out more across the speakers. It's not doesn't have a definition of the instruments and of Ozzy's voice. There's not a lot of definition to it. Is where on the uh, the Rhino, you know, this was remastered by Chris Bellman. So he did a knockout job on this record. And uh, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get my uh, notified when I make another video. And I'm going to do a few more of these videos where I'm comparing some records. It was taking me a while to do some of this because, uh, you know, I just got my cartridge needle. I just got my cartridge retipped, and it's been taking a little time to break in because I, I was having some difficulty, you know, compare, listening to this record, listening to the other one, going back and two, and I wasn't really being able to hear what I wanted, you know, what I thought I should be hearing. It was hard for me to describe it. But now that I've it, it's broken in better, I, it's it's come actually it sounds better. So I'm being able to hear more details. So okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.